Meanwhile, we have made our way into the kitchen with our next guest, Hi. who is taking a classic fried steak mm -hmm. and giving it a delicious pretzel twist. Not something you <laughs> every day. Welcome <laughs> back, our good friend. Thank you. Food Network star, Artie Sequeira. So oh, nice to see you. Hi, guys. To see you. It's party Artie in our it's kitchen. It's party Artie. We're so Artie. And I'm wearing a dress. That's a very party dress. Yeah. It is, but I've never cooked in it before, so you're just going to have to okay. watch my back. I like, don't literally, worry. Literally. Just make sure I've everything's got you. in. I've got you. We'll step secured. away if yes. we need to when we yes. put the steak in our frying yeah. pan over there. As you can see, Ali, Kimmy, and Orly are waiting patiently for this you pretzel are. fried yeah. steak. It's a very interesting <laughs> recipe. Yeah. And you actually came up with this by accident, didn't you? I did. It was a, It's a product of necessity. So my in-laws have a cabin up in the mountains in North Carolina and we'll go and just oh, unplug. Beautiful. There's no cell phone reception. There's no Wi-Fi. It's just like you and God and nature and that's it. I love it. Unfortunately, there was a lot of nature that Christmas <laughs> and we got snowed in <gasps> and so we couldn't even go down the mountain to go to the store and so my mother-in-law, thank goodness, shops like the apocalypse is coming. <laughs> so I would just open cabinets and the freezer and stuff and just make whatever I could find and it was like being on Chopped because I just oh God, created well, recipes awesome. on the cool yeah. story. Yeah, and actually I was just saying, like, I would like that opportunity again. Not really, please no. But because I came up with such creative recipes, right. you know, because you just have to. How fun. Yeah. So, so you literally were working that entire vacation because a little bit. you had to. You yeah. had a choice. I was like, we're going to eat something good. And so there was cube steak okay. in the fridge. Uh, it had been on sale, on sale, so that's why, you know, okay. we had a lot of it. And uh, we were going through a gluten-free stage, so oh. we had gluten-free pretzels. Ooh. Okay. There's always egg, there's always flour, and then I made a little gravy. So it's a pretzel fried steak oh. with a mango chutney gravy. Oh. I mean, this is, yeah. is going to be delicious. It's I can already good. tell. It's good, All it's right, good. So what do we do first? So here is our beautiful cube steak. Okay. Now, what is a cube steak exactly? So it's a cut of meat that's normally you would want to braise it because it's a little tougher. Okay. And what they do is they whack it. Yeah. <laughs> there go. You whack and it good. Then they tenderize it. So it's sort of like when you get a massage and they get the knots out. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Because when I looked at this, I thought it was just ground beef. Yeah, no, it holds together in the middle, but that means it cooks quickly and it's still really tender. Okay, so we've yeah. whacked our cube it's steak. It's whacked. <laughs> so now we're going to do the three-part dredging station, which is probably the most complicated part of the whole thing, and it's really not that bad. Okay. So, would you please add some of these spices in here? This is just flour. Okay. If you're doing gluten free, you do uh, what you call it? Gluten free flour. Sure. That was cumin, a little paprika. Right. This is ground coriander. Oh, nice. You can do whatever you want. You could do five spice. You could do oregano. Mm -hmm. You could do whatever floats your boat. Whatever you have in the cabin. When whatever you're snowed in, you're snowed in the cabin <laughs> with. And I mean, that actually sounds like a. a Hallmark movie, movie. script. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, the and then there's like Sorry, magic. Cameron Matheson. Yeah, every uh -huh. time every time she cooks, the sun comes out and the ice melts just a little <laughs> more. <laughs> yeah. We've <laughs> just written it for them. We've written it. Okay. okay, so you whisk it just to incorporate it. And then you can use tongs, but if you're at home and you don't have tongs, you need to divide and conquer in terms of your hands. Okay. So what you're gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm gonna season every part of this, okay? So eggs right. and the pretzels. Even the pretzels, all right. One hand is wet. One hand is dry. Right, so the, no cross contamination. The twain should never meet. Oh. And oh, mostly because you don't want to get the claw. You know, the oh, crazy, yeah, the start, gummy claw. Then suddenly you yeah. have bread in your hand. But you can go ahead and do it. So go ahead and dip this in the flour. Okay, so we take this Get it out. on both sides. There we go. And that gives the egg something to hold on to. Okay. Otherwise, it would just slide off. And look at that, Artie. I'm doing the work You're for doing, you. So it's, I love is, this show. I love this show. There is no fear of you getting <laughs> messy. Anything on my dress. Yeah. You're wearing you a go. white dress, well, and I'm nervous. There you go. Then right. this is just beaten eggs with a little bit of milk. Okay. Okay, and now? then it goes right into the pretzel. And the Do we double dredge, or? Uh, you could if you wanted Make to. Make it real crispy. Yeah, you could. Hey, do you cook? Wow. Well, I've been <laughs> right? known to. A little double dredge. I love way it. Around the kitchen. Okay, and then right. we're going to shallow fry it. So I've got okay. a nice cast iron skillet, keeping it real country. Real and, country. Uh, you can put it right in there. No, it's very you. hot. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. So the thing with frying is you want to make sure that the oil comes up halfway up that steak. Oh. Just halfway. Yeah, I mean, you could really deep fry it, but if you're just trying to shallow fry, I'm always trying to use less oil just because yeah. I don't want to clean it up, not because nice. I'm healthy. Yeah. But that's yeah. a good idea as well. Uh, yeah. So, like, just to clarify. Yeah, just to clarify. It's a mess that I'm worried It about. is. <laughs> Look at me. Yeah. Um, but I would sometimes fry and it wouldn't get crispy, and that was why, because I wasn't mm. using enough oil. So get it all the way up the side. And so if you can keep an eye on that, just cook it until, well, oh, actually. It's already looking beautiful. Wow. It's already oh, there, really? people. Oh, it's already. Yeah. Yeah. Once the outside looks right, is the inside definitely Because it's so thin. Yeah. Yes. 
It's yes, been beaten. pretty much. Wow. Pretty so much. then you take it off, you let it sit over yes. here on a little and cooling rack. And quick little tip, whenever you pull it out, salt it immediately, because the salt will stick to that dredging, and then you'll get that extra pop. Beautiful. This is the gravy. Which the mango chutney gravy. Mango How chutney clever. gravy. Oh, well, thank you. You know, <laughs> I mean, what mother-in-law keeps mango chutney on hand for her Indian daughter-in-law? Oh. I, I say props to her. I props mean, to her. Honestly. So this is just your simple gravy. It's onions um, in a little bit of fat, oil, butter, whatever you like. And then you saute them, put a little flour in there. That's going to hold the gravy together, okay. give it body. And now you're going to add your uh, seasoning. So this is some chicken stock. That's it. Right? which again, she always has. This is mango chutney. So mango chutney is a little sweet. Ooh, yeah. That's okay, my it? hands have no feeling in them anymore. I love it, either. I love it, I love it. You're a real there cook. So this is mango chutney. If you don't have mango chutney, you could use apricot jam. Yeah. Oh, yeah? nice. Very yeah. similar. I add a little soy, just Beautiful. to give it some umami, and for a little heat, a touch of cayenne. Oh and then you just need to bring that to a boil, let it simmer until... <laughs> It's like this. Oh, that's beautiful. And then so if it it's reduces. okay with you guys, oh my gosh. we are going to serve this make up, you. Artie. I'm okay. just going to how quick it is. Yeah. Like, yeah. You said, oh, that side's done already. I'm like, you just put it down. Yeah. I know. It's really quick. I know. Too. There you go. Yeah. Here. Here, uh, you do the steak, I'll bring the gravy. There you go. I love this. Divide and conquer. It's like there a real family. Go. Exactly. Yeah. So, and it's, to me, this is sort of what I love about the way that I have been kind of forced to cook since moving to the States is kind of bringing two worlds together, right? Bringing what I grew up with with what my husband grew up with and saying, hey, we can have a shared experience. Where is table. your husband from? Well, I mean, yeah. he's from Boston, okay. wow. <laughs> home of chicken fried steak, but yeah, um, yeah. And right, beans. right, and yeah, probably some chowder in there too. But how lucky are your in-laws? You say how lucky are you that your mother-in-law keeps the mango chutney? Oh, chutney. Yeah. How lucky are your in-laws that you get well, to cook for them? Like they're this very all the time. sweet yeah. and they're very appreciative. I remember the first Christmas I spent with them, I was like. Wait, what are we having for Christmas lunch? And they were like, we were just gonna make chili. I was like, oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go somewhere else, and I'll right. go make something. I just uh, can't. I just can't. Do it. I want to try this chili. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah. Yeah. Is it good? Oh my gosh, it's, it's fantastic. Good. Tell me. Oh my goodness, Artie. The crunch yeah. is so good. And with yeah. the sweetness, perfect. Yeah. Thank it's you so, so much. And for the full recipe, visit hallmarkchannel.com, and you can connect with Artie on her website, artiesequera.com.